Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California in Six Rivers National Forest. Yes, lots of trees out there. It's a beautiful day outside. Um, today in Build a Doodle, this is day eight's work. Um, so what I've done here is kind of a combination of the two from the last two days. Here is a loose, um, you know, I'm showing you, I believe, the poppies here and kind of their shape. Um, we're still keeping things fairly loose, but we're being a bit more technical with it also. Uh, looking at um, just kind of taking our time. We're refining a little bit more, just practicing, just playing, right? This one I love. That one's pretty cool. These are interesting, nothing that's phenomenal. I fully admit, I'm not a pro doodler, uh, but I am having fun doing it. And I think that's what's important for getting our drawing skills back or, or building our drawing skills. Pretty cool. Next week, we're gonna do five build-a-doodles, um, the, the five pieces. So um, there's some great things to look forward to next week. That'll kind of take a little bit longer than what our basic doodles do. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great day. Be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe if you haven't. Um, please hit that alarm bell and then you'll get notification when a new video comes out and all of those great things. Jump on over to Patreon if you're interested. I would love and appreciate your support. Okay. Oh, definitely show me what you're doing over at Messy Hand Band of Artists. Our Facebook group would love to see you there. I love seeing what everybody's making. Okay, guys, have a great day. We'll chat soon. Bye. Hello, artists. Okay, so we've done um, these little guys here. They were fun. And then we just did the simple sketches on Monday. So let's look here on day eight. All right. So we could go with something that's a little bit more refined still. Let's look here and see what else we have to go off of. We'll do this on Thursday. This is definitely still a bit more refined. Well, maybe we'll do something like that today. Let's look here. See, these are some of the ones that we just did yesterday. Those are little circles. So just every day, we're just building on the lines. I mean, this is swirly lines with the little scalloped edge. This is a lot of little swirly lines. Let's play with a couple of those real quick. This one just kind of has kind of a star shape here in the middle. A little circle there. And then it has kind of concentric. thingies like that and then it has petals over the top of it and it has some little dots in there so when you break it down to its parts it's not nearly as scary as what it might seem And that's not, it's not supposed to be something that's a fine, amazing, beautiful piece of art. It's something that's a doodle that's supposed to be interesting and fun. And every day challenging yourself to get a little bit more complex. I like these little guys, they're fun to make. Just filling them in. Hmm, don't tell me I'm gonna kill another pen. Um, oh, hey, let's look at our poppy shape. So poppies are very, very organic. And they usually have like three or four leaves to them. Very triangular shape leaves so um and then the little buds 
they have that triangle at the bottom and then again you have just kind of these little triangular shapes and you can also you know put in some more little shapey things and shade it in if you want to but that's our basic poppy shape poppies are very simple and you can even do poppies as just kind of a swirly thing here you know with kind of lines coming in do um you know, your little swirly guys. This guy's kind of cool here. It's just building your scalps along from the inside and running it along to the outside. and letting your scallops get bigger and bigger and bigger as you proceed. Kind of a chrysanthemum. Isn't that a chrysanthemum? Let's look at this little black-eyed Susan here. That's pretty cool. It's got a whole lot of little smaller, maybe it's a mum, I don't know what that is. All I'm doing is making circles, making ovals taking them from the center. They're kind of fun. They're a lot of fun there. That one's a good one. Look at this one. It's super simple, but very effective. Kind of has our poppy shape. This one has a circle on the bottom, half a circle, has a stem, thin stems, and then it has kind of a triangular shape, little teardrop shapes. We're going to add one more petal in there. We're actually going to add one more petal right there. Love that. Um, let's look at this guy, the lotus. All right, so the lotus, let's look at a lotus. Lotus is going to come out from the bottom. All right. And when it comes up, doesn't it? I'm not looking at a picture of one, so it's hard to remember exactly what they do. It's something like that. All right. Very fun. Let's see, this is Wednesday. I want to save enough for Thursday. So we can do a few, a few more here. Um, let's look at this guy. Got this circle. He has wider, see? So do your four directions, basically. And then you go in to the centers, from each of those. And then they've put a little extra line around them like that. These guys are very cute. Look at how simple they are. Little acorn shape. It's a kind of a upside down triangle. And this actually was supposed to have kind of a ruffled edge. That's way too big of a ruffled edge, huh? The center is about the same width. So then we have our ruffled edge. And we have some little lines coming up. So what can we build upon that? We could build, uh, I have these gorgeous trumpeter flowers. Outside.
So it's just a long inverted triangle with a circle here in the center for where it's going to come out. And then we do our ruffles around it in kind of an oval shape. Kind of fun. Let's look at this guy. This one's a little bit more advanced. So actually, let's look at this guy. We'll save that one for tomorrow. They're just going around each leaf twice. Try to practice not pulling up your hand from it and seeing what you can do with that. I know I had to shift there, even though I just said don't pull your hand up from it. But it really does help to keep moving your paper. In the direction you want to go. Don't feel like you have to stay stagnant with something. That guy's really pretty fun. I like those. And then they have the little bow tie leaves. Very cute little leaves. Let's see. Let's go on to the next page. This one is great. Oh, that's perfect for it too, huh? I like that one. And this one, how are we doing on time? Oh, we're at 12 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna do this one last one. Here we're just varying our lines a little bit more. Letting them be a little mm, less smooth. All right, guys, I think this is a great place to stop for Wednesday. So we just took a little bit extra time. We're still sketching. I mean, that's definitely not a work of art. This one's pretty cool, though. Love how that one's turned out. This one's kind of interesting. That one, if you could see it better, it would be interesting. I love the poppy that I did here. This guy's pretty fun. So these are not meant to be perfect. They are meant to be doodles. They're meant to just be fun keep your hand loose, get used to drawing. Um, you know, that's, that's what this is all about is just getting our hands used to drawing. Okay guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed and, uh, come back tomorrow and we'll do a little bit more advanced flowers. And then Friday, we're going to put it all together into a nice piece of art. Woo hoo. All right, guys. We'll chat soon. Remember just 10 minutes a day. All right or more if you want to. <laughs> Have a great one.